I'll go up in front of the girl with good eye contact, smile. If she's looking at me, I'll do that playful back and forth with the facial expressions. But oftentimes, you may not even get that. Sometimes just going up confident as fuck. And like, I'll put my hand out, but I'll put it, if she's standing, I'll put my hand like slightly here. And I'll slide my hand to her hand in a way that's like grabbing her hand and pulling it forward. And look, I'm not going to like go 100% doing this. It's actually kind of a direct style approach. But when you do it confidently with a good smile and, you, you know, you're like well-groomed, okay? Like if you're going and looking like a fucking bum, dude, it's not going to go anywhere, okay? But if you're well-groomed, you can hold good eye contact and a smile and you can go up to her and just grab her hand. Not grab her hand, graze your hand on her wrist and then slide it to her hand and pull her towards you. I've noticed that can be very effective. The other thing I'll do maybe is I'll just plant myself in the vicinity and I may really loudly make an observation off to the side. The other thing I may do is instead of just grabbing her hand, you could go right next to her. Like I'll just like bump my waist into her like hip to hip bump and do a little bit of a dance with a smile and a head nod. Really depends on what's going on. But those are like a couple different tools I would use to open. Open the people at the bar how you're imagining you would open on the dance floor. Okay, because if you're not hooking enough at the bar, it's all vibe and intensity and energy right there. Okay, like that's a lot of it. I don't have amazing verbal game in these loud venues. Girls can't even fucking hear you. How are you going to have like a amazing verbal game? It's actually the opposite. It's like dumb down, stupid, dumb ass game, silly, dumb ass game. It's like 12 year old game. <laughs> it's like literally 12 year old game. Like I'm just like acting a fool, but the fundamentals are still on point. And at some point I know how to like steer the conversation from there. So it's not only that, but it's a little bit of trial and error with that stuff, but you got to play around with it. Some of these things are going to feel unnatural at first. Okay. So like, don't beat yourself up if it doesn't go perfectly the first couple of times. But I think those are a couple of tips that you could just start implementing in night game. Biggest thing I would say for you to do out of all of that is like have those several interactions throughout the night where you push yourself further than you normally would in a more exaggerated way, just to kind of break out of that comfort zone shell. I think that would go a long way and kind of ramping up on the vibe and the energy. Do you spend hours and hours on YouTube watching pickup and dating content, but yet you're still not getting the results you feel like you deserve? I mean, that's exactly how I was. I spent nine months watching YouTube content obsessively without ever making a single approach, without ever talking to a girl. And the messed up part of it was, I genuinely thought I was getting better while I was watching that content. I would watch a new video, I would study, I would learn something, and in my mind, I thought I was getting better. And this process continued over months and months and months. The reality, I never talked to a single girl during that time. And when I finally went out, I had watched so much content that I was so overwhelmed in my brain that I couldn't even open. Nine months wasted studying content to take zero action. Because the reality is, it's not about the content you study. It's about the action, the implementation, and the execution that's ultimately going to get you those new reference experiences, that's going to get you that success, that's going to build up that core confidence and help you internalize the content you actually study. Okay, Studying without execution is literally meaningless. It's actually going to put you more in your head. Okay, that's literally what happened to me. And it wasn't until I finally hired a mentor and was invested, had some skin in the game, had some accountability that I finally started taking action. He showed me that step-by-step -step game plan, that roadmap, as well as what I needed to focus on this week, right now, what I needed to go out and do and execute. And guess what? Once I had all of those pieces and I was actually invested and I had that guidance, I did take that next step. I did push it one step forward and I did finally start to make some progress, okay? Watching a bunch of content without doing the other side of it is absolutely pointless. And this is exactly why I've come up with my brand new mentorship program, to hold guys accountable, to give them that personalized guidance, as well as that step-by-step -step game plan for them to focus on what they need to go out to implement and to execute right now. Not watching hours and hours and hours of content to get more in their head, no. No, no, none of that, okay? I'm gonna literally show you what you need to do right now just to take that next step. We're gonna hold you accountable. I'm gonna answer any questions that you have along the way, and you're gonna get that personalized coaching that you need from someone that's been through this before, okay? That's the best way to get results in this, and 
ultimately the most effective, fastest process to really genuinely get good at this, okay? So if you're interested in doing this, click the link below, click the link in the description, and book a free call with us to find out more about how you can work with me, not a member for my team, but actually you'll work with me personally to achieve your goals with women and dating. Click the link below, and we'll talk to you soon. Peace out.